Good evening to y'all. We come to you from Turner Field in Atlanta as MLB 06 coverage of Major League Baseball is about to get underway. Tonight, the first game of this four-game series as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Atlanta Braves. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler as we get set for what should be a good one. And Soup, we turn to you first. What'll be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, some people don't find defense all that interesting, but keep an eye on the way Andrew Jones plays in the outfield. I mean, this guy is a real difference maker defensively, and it does not hurt that he led the majors in home runs last year either. You cannot ask for much more than he delivers. All right, Dave and Huddle join us shortly, but let's get to our New Era cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins align like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Alfredo Omeziga will bat second and play second. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Wes Helms will bat fifth. He's at third base. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Josh Willingham bats eighth and plays center. Jason Vargas will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. Jorge Sosa will get the ball to face them. Here's a guy that's got enough stuff to get by, but a key is going to be how well he mixes his pitches, and more importantly, his pitch speeds. Once guys lock on, things can get ugly out there. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. Hanley Ramirez makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Good crowd on hand as the first pitch tonight is taken for ball one. The next pitch. In there, one and one. Think he gave up on that one a little too early? Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Nothing like giving the pitcher a little exercise in the first play of the game. Good technique there. Alfredo Omeziga stands in now, and you see he's been hot of late, hitting in 10 straight ball games now. Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's going to be another one of these kind of games behind the plate. That's a strike. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit, because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. There to get it is Renteria. Throw on to first, two gone. Two up, two down to start the first. Exactly the kind of start you envision warming up in the bullpen. Mike Jacobs will step in, and you see where he enters play in the National League batting race. Mike Jacobs. In there at the letters 0 and 1. And early on, he's showing he's not afraid to work up in the strike zone. Now a bullet back up the middle. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out.
Well, they tried to pull the string on the changeup that time, but it looked a little like the arm action might have given him away there. Miguel Cabrera will step in among the National League leaders in home runs, as you see. Lined hard to center field. Into the slide, and he makes a great basket catch for the third out of the inning. So no runs here, one hit, no errors, and one man left on. And now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. And now the starting lineup for the host Braves looks like this. Edgar Renteria will lead things off despite being under 200 against lefties. We'll see what he can do here. 2005 rookie phenom Jeff Francoeur is next out in right field. Andrew Jones will bat third and play center. Chipper Jones, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Brian McCann bats fifth. He's behind the plate. Matt Diaz will hit sixth and play left field. Kelly Johnson is the second baseman. He bats number seven. Todd Pratt is at first base. He'll bat number eight. Jorge Sosa is on the mound. As you've seen, he will bat ninth. And they'll be opposed by a rookie surprise in Florida a year ago, left-hander Jason Vargas. Vargas, 23 years of age out of Long Beach State, a natural right-hander growing up, but by the time his Little League years rolled around, he'd become a left-hander. And a good decision as he made that his meal ticket to the majors. And in the field, Rawlings will show us that the Marlins will align themselves as such. Edgar Renteria will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And he takes ball one. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. Hit hard down the left field line. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that ball is gone. Home run. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Jeff Francoeur is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. And he misses with it, one and one. And the pitch. In for strike two. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And you know, most of the hitters in the league will have trouble with this pitch down and away, but this guy's had success there in the past, and he does it again here. Andrew Jones will get his first opportunity now. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Get 
Swing and a liner back through the box. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Wow, and a rocky start on the road here, guys. Three straight hits surrendered, and he hasn't gotten out of the first inning yet. Shepard Jones will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. He's got to drive that fastball the other way. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Near the stands, and he brings this one back in. He took that right out of the first row. Wow! But too late, and he's safe at third. Let's take another look at this one. I don't know if he misjudged it off the bat or what, but he's gotten up as high as he can to pull that one down. That's a nice play. Runners on the corners now with one man gone. And in steps the young catcher, Brian McCann. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. And, oh, looked good on the monitor, but it's 2-0. and oh. In the air to straightaway center field. Into a slide as he makes a great basket catch. And he throws it away. Yeah. Matt Diaz will be the batter. Here's the first offering. Swinging a ball line softly down the line in right, but foul. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Two out with the man at first. One one pitch on the way. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Willingham will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move to the second now at Turner Field. The Braves lead it two to nothing. Wes Helms leads things off now in the top half of the second. Wes Helms. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Oh Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Oh Swing and a ball on the ground for Renteria. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Looked like that pitch might have been out of the zone, but he had to protect the two strikes. Got into a hole he just couldn't climb out of. Jeremy Hermida trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. First pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. Matt Trainer will stand in. Batting seven. Catcher. Matt Trainer. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is taken outside for bowl one. Good idea trying to work the outside part of the plate with the hard stuff. And a 
good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Swing and a ball pulled down the line at third. Foul. Two out, nobody on. Now the 2-2 pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Josh Willingham would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Josh Willingham will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. Fouled back. And now a ball yanked down the third base line. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the bottom of the second. Braves lead this one two to nothing. Lady Kelly Johnson right. will start things off in the bottom of the second. second. Kelly Johnson. in there and it's 0-1 now the pitch inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit and let's see if that sets up the outside corner now on the ground is second and the throw to first is in time one gone Todd Pratt will be the batter. First pitch to him. Ball one. And you don't want guys to be able to get their arms extended on pitches up there. Now a swing, but oh, oh, too far in front as this one had the distance, but is well foul. One out, nobody on. I changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded there by Helms. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. For a Sosa to take his first cut to the ball game here. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. That swung on and missed were even at one and one. And there's a reason this team is losing already. He's got to stay out of the middle with those. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Strike two called and it's even at two. And Matt, don't be surprised if they go back to the changeup again with two strikes. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Boy, and you don't want to waste a lot of pitches on the opposing pitcher.
And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. Edgar Renteria will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. And that misses ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. A runner on first with two away. Lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike. Three and one now. Jeff Francoeur would be next. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Well, it might be a good time to go out and try to settle him down because it looks like he's not concentrating. Jeff Francoeur will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. Ball one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Yeah, good late movement. Just did catch that inside corner. Swing and a ground ball to first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We played two full. The Braves on top, two to nothing. Jason Vargas is ready to go here as we begin the third. Jason Vargas. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Hanley Ramirez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there, 1 and 0. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Thought off the crack of the bat they were going to be able to get him at first, but he's picking him up and putting him down and gets himself an infield hit. Alfredo Omeziga will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. There he goes. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw in time at second, and McCann has nailed him trying to take second base. Looked like a late decision to run out there because he basically had no lead, and that came back to bite him.
just got a piece of it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. And this is fouled straight back. Another 0-2 coming. Fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Andrew Jones due up when we come back. They're up two to nothing. Andrew Jones will step in. A base hit in his last time. Lays off 1 and 0. Oh. 1 0 oh pitch now. On the ground down the first baseline, but foul. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool a guy. It's one and two. Yeah, his body's telling him to swing, but his brain's saying no! Take it deep. Take it deep. And a ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Shepard Jones waits on deck. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Shepard Jones will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and oh. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. 2-0 oh on the way. Lays off, and it's 3-0. and oh. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Not a real good sign here. Already his third walk of the ball game this early? It shows me he may not have his A game out there right now. Okay. Brian McCann will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. Runner at first, chipper, now the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. Foul. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Let's see where this thing is. Yeah, it's a little bit outside. That's a pitcher's pitch right there with two strikes. Brian Moeller will come in and pitch now. Now pitching for the Marlins. Number 36. Ryan 
Matt Diaz will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And a strike at the knees, more like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. Here's a ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Three innings complete. Atlanta leads it two to nothing. Mike Jacobs will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Pretty good velocity, too. 94 on that one. In the air to center. Jones is right there. One gone. Miguel Cabrera will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Wes Helms will step in now. Wes Helms. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Line hard. Foul. And he misses two and one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. This one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. So two men are on with one man out, and that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. Ball one. Good discipline there. From the stretch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Swing and a ball pulled into right. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, sometimes he's a guy that will rely on his fastball a bit too much, and it looked like the hitter was guessing fastball all the way. Matt Trainer will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. And 
And a fastball's in there for strike one. And there's ball one. Bases are loaded with only one out. And this is at least close to the inside corner, but it's ruled a ball two and one. Boy, he's about to lose his mind out there on the mound. Bad time to shrink that strike zone now. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Boy, you've got to make sure you can get something out of this inning. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Can't afford to be too fine now. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Well, and sometimes you can fall into a rut as a pitcher. And after three straight hits surrendered, that's what he's fallen into now. Josh Willingham will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. Now a ground ball to second. This could be two. Renteria for one. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Braves lead this one two to one. Kelly Johnson will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Kelly Johnson. Now a ball sliced the other way out to left field. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first out of the inning. Todd Pratt digs into the plate. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Here comes the 2-0. Oh. And he swings right through it there. Two and one. And that's how you keep hitters off balance. Throw change-ups on fastball counts. And a bouncing ball. Foul. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Jorge Sosa will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First pitch on the way. And they start him out away with a cold strike. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Fourth inning of a 2-1 ball game. Here's the pitch. Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. And, and even he's smart enough not to chase that thing.
in the air to left. And that's going to fall. Edgar Renteria will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled Edgar off this month. Right there for strike one. And these pitches better be well off the plate if you want this umpire to call him a ball. He wants to make you swing. Swing and a miss there, so the count pushes to 0 and 2 for Renteria. Two out with the man at first. From the belt, the pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. 2-2 two -two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full 3-2. and two. And with two out, that runner on first can get a little extra head start here. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Hermida is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So no runs here on one base hit, no errors, and one man left on. We played four full. The Braves lead it two to one. Brian Moeller will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Right back with the fastball, and that evens the count at one and one. The pitch. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Hanley Ramirez will dig in one for two thus far. Shortstop. Hanley Ramirez. Change up a little bit inside. One and oh. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. Outside locator that time, but a good job to lay off. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike, 2-1. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Boy, and this is not a guy to dilly-dally with. They need to go right after him. Three-one pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. Swing and a high drive, deep left field. Should stay in the ballpark. Diaz is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. 
Boy, left that fastball up that time, but he got away with it and got him to fly out. Alfredo Omezaga will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Alfredo Omezaga. First pitch to him. Low for ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And this guy won't back down there out on the mound. Brought that one at 94 miles an hour. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Fouled straight back. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out. This side is retired. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and no one left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. Atlanta leads it 2-1. to one. Jeff Francoeur will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Jeff Francoeur. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Willingham is right there, one down. Andrew Jones will step in, one for two in the ball game. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Well, these bats have been silent since the two-run first inning, so they needed this to maybe wake them up a bit. A man at second with one down, and here comes Chipper. Chipper, go! Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Yeah, and most hitters will leave that one be. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Hits are even right now at five a side. Called a strike there, 2-1. and one. Matt, he can spot that cutter down in the zone, or he can challenge guys with it. Fouled straight back. Swing and a miss by Chipper, and he's down on strikes. Brian McCann will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Here's the first offering. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Boy, tough when you take off speed to start the at-bat. half swing here but this is in there for a cold strike too
He's set. Now the pitch. Good waste pitch. One and two. Hmm. And that looked like a freebie right there. That should have been strike three. Keeps the inning alive. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fifth inning. Two to one our score. Here's the two and two offering. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Matt Diaz would be next. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. And this is tracked down on the run, and with that, the side is retired. Braves strand one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Mike Jacobs will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And that misses for ball one. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Boy, when you're getting calls out there, you can really be tough to hit. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And this is popped high in the air to the left side. Jones is under this one. And he's got it for the first out. Miguel Cabrera will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Change up too low and it's one and oh. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. The 1-0 pitch. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Two and one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. The 2-1. And this pitch is taken outside, I suppose. Hmm, 3-1. and one. Wes Helms is on deck. Ball four. Well, it didn't look to me like they wanted to give him anything to hit here. Wes Helms will stand in. Base on balls his last time. A look at Cabrera, now the pitch. And McCann, McCann't get a glove on that one. It's by him to the backstop. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. center field Jones is there now and he has it two gone Your attention, new pitcher coming on now and it's the right hander Blaine Boyer who makes the appearance Blaine Boyer. Jeremy Hermida will stride in he singled in his last plate appearance
First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Right back to the bender again, and he's got him in an 0 2 hole now. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. The Braves on top, two to one. Lady Matt Dyack will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Here it comes. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. And he lays off for ball one. And when guys get tired, they have a tendency to start leaving that pitch up. Got to be careful. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool a guy. It's one and two. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. Now a ball lines softly toward the hole, but no problem at first, and that's the first out. Kelly Johnson will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Kelly Johnson. And he takes ball one. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Todd Pratt will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. And a ball, 1-0. and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's the benefit of having veterans like this in your ball club. This guy's been doing this for quite a while now. Blaine Boyer will dig in here. Blaine Boyer. Too high with the two-seamer there, and it's 1-0. Oh. And if he's confident in that cutter, he'll go up the ladder on him. Now, ball lines softly down the right field line, and this is going to be a foul ball. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And a relay home. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. So this becomes a 3-1 game now as he'll be credited with the RBI double. So a runner at second. Two down now. And in steps the shortstop, Edgar Renteria. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. And 
This one's too far inside, ball two. Two well count, the pitch. Swing and a liner toward right center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. As you can see, the pitches are starting to pile up on him, and that's three straight hits he's surrendered here. Jeff Francoeur will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Ball one. A lot of pitches for him thus far. Up over 50 since coming in, so he might be getting a little tired. In the air to straightaway center field. And he can't come up with it. Long throw to third. The tag, and he is out at third, and with that, the side is retired. So three runs on four hits here, one error, and no one left on base. We're through six full. The Braves lead it 5-1. to one. Matt Trainer will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Matt Trainer. And here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Had success with that fastball. Why not turn to it again 0-2? Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Frank Coeur has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Josh Willingham will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. Josh Willingham. In there, 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short, taken by Renteria. Throw gets him, two down. Lenny Harris will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 10. In there, no balls and a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Henry Ramirez will get another crack. One for three thus far. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. In the air to center. Over to take charge of this one is Andrew, and that'll do it. And a good job of pitching there to get the fly ball he needed, and they will hold on to the lead. 
So no runs here on one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here in Atlanta. Braves lead this one 5-1. to one. Randy Messenger will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 23, Randy Messenger. Andrew Jones will dig in. He doubled his last time. Andrew Jones. Change up too low and it's 1-0. and oh. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. 95 on the outside paint? Call the cops. You can't hit that. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this ball will be chopped foul. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Chipper Jones will be next. And the pitch. Now a ball lined to the right side. Shepard Jones will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And that misses inside, 1-0. and A few more inches in, and that's a pitch he'll turn on. Swing by Chipper and a fly ball as he didn't get all of that one. Therefore, it is Cabrera, one away. Brian McCann will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And that's in there for strike one. Runners on first with one down. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing and a ground ball. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So they pick up no runs, one hit, no errors, and none left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Braves on top, 5-1. to one. Alfredo Amezaga will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Alfredo Amezaga. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Wing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Mike Jacobs will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now batting, the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And it bounces around down there now. Miguel Cabrera will step in. One for two in the ball game.
swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Trying to set up inside with a fastball, but it doesn't quite get there, and he just yanks this thing to left for the base hit. Oscar Villarreal is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 56. Wes Helms will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Wes Helms. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. The infield's at double play depth here, Matt, as they look for a ground ball to get him out of the inning. And a foul ball straight back. Oh, and a huge strike out there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Jeremy Hermida will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now a ball hit down the line in the air. This has a chance, and oh, it's high off the foul pole for a home run. Number 32 will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 32, Kevin Tyler. The pitch. Swing, and he pops him up. Over near second. Johnson is in his tracks now. And he will put it away to retire the side. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Braves lead it 5-4. to four. Matt Diaz will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Kelly Johnson will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Kelly Johnson. Here it comes. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Good swing by Johnson, but he still comes up empty. Nothing in two. Working quickly here. Let's see if they try to finish him off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, he just hadn't looked very comfortable up there throughout the entire game. He might have been pressing a little bit right there because he chased a bad pitch, and now he's going to head back to the dugout wearing an 0-for-4 collar. Todd Pratt will get another crack, 1-for-3 thus far. First pitch coming. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone.
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Jacobs at first, he'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Ninth inning coming up, last chance for Romance. Atlanta leads it 5-4. to four. Same situation now, so they'll make the call for the right-hander, Chris Rietzma. Chris Aguila will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number three, Chris Aguila. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Good idea to take a strike here. You need base runners. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Pokey Reese will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Pinch hitting for the Marlins. Number 11, Pokey Reese. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. One out, nobody on. In on the hands that time, one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Looked like he almost gave up on that swing. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Good start out of the pin. After three runs came in to score last inning, they needed someone to come in here and slow that offense down a bit. Marlins down to their final out now. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Up with it is the shortstop Renteria. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, I'm sure they're thinking this was a little too close for comfort, but they hang on to win it in a close ball game. So the Braves with the victory here in this one, and Dave, let's have a look back at our majestic play of the game. Matt, here's what turned out to be the decisive blow, and it came way back in the very first inning. This home run got them going, and they never looked back. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of guys deserving, but gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our upper deck player with the game. Yeah, Matt, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Baskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Braves are winners here, 5-4. to four. This has been a presentation of MLB 06, the show. For more, log on to MLB06.com. Good night, everybody.